Hey guys, welcome to The Market is Open. Check out our website, themarketisopen.com. Today we're going to be talking about the Model Y. It was just launched by Elon Musk at the Tesla Design Studio in LA. Orders are now open for the car. The base model is going to be $39,000 as expected, uh, going to be coming out in mid-2021. However, the performance models and the higher end models are going to be coming out in 2020. Uh, so we're going to dive into that and talk about the, the car and the presentation today. But first, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have tons of new Tesla videos every week, and we would really appreciate your support by subscribing. So Elon starts off the presentation with a brief history of how Tesla got started and where they are today. Uh, so I'm going to go over that a little bit and talk about some of the highlights uh, that I pulled out from that part of the presentation. Uh, and then he brings out the Model Y, which you can see here uh, on the right, and he goes into the specs, and we'll go over that too in the video. So Elon starts off the presentation bringing out uh, one car at a time, talking about uh, sort of the origin of the cars. He talks about how Model S, the S stands for sedan, uh, the X in Model X uh, stands for crossover, uh, the 3 everyone knows is sort of the third version of the car. Uh, then he talks about the, the actual factory, which he says is actually more important than, than the car itself. And so the Fremont factory is where they uh, design the actual cars, or, or sorry, build the actual cars. Uh, whereas the Nevada factory is the, the Giga factory where the batteries are produced. And he basically looks at it like a giant cybernetic collective because there's about 20,000 people uh, working at the Fremont factory and there's a ton of robots everywhere uh, building cars. He also mentions the China Giga factory, which is pretty interesting. Uh, he says it's going to be the Nevada factory plus the Fremont factory combined uh, into a single factory. So that's basically all the, the parts that are required to make the car, including the, the battery uh, cells, are going to be in a single factory. So obviously uh, the China factory, the Shanghai Giga factory, is going to be one of the most cutting edge factories in the world, even uh, better than, than the current uh, one in California. So Elon Musk also says that this year is going to be the year of the solar roof and the power wall. Uh, so basically they've been allocating all of their resources towards Model 3. Uh, even the, the cells that they needed to produce and everything needed to go like primarily to the Model 3 versus into uh, power walls and, and power packs and the solar roof. But now that that's uh, sort of more stable, uh, they said that they're going to be investing more heavily uh, and ramping up solar roof. Uh, the solar retrofit, uh, that's the solar panels on top of a roof, uh, power wall and power pack products. And Elon also said that there's a gigawatt power pack, uh, like a large scale commercial project uh, in California right now, uh, which should be around the same size as the one of the largest ones in the world, uh, which was in Australia. He then talks about the over uh, 12,000 superchargers that they have in the world to create the, the supercharger network and how they're going to be expanding that rapidly, but they were sort of uh, slowing it down in order to wait for V3 to be ready, which it is ready now, and now they're going to be ramping up V3. So it didn't make sense before to put V2 everywhere if you were going to replace it uh, with version 3, uh, but now that version 3 is ready, uh, they said they're going to be upgrading their current ones and rolling out new ones. So there's going to be a radical improvement worldwide sometime next year. And of course, V3 is now at 250 kilowatts. Uh, previously, it was at 75 kilowatts, like that was the, the first version of the, the supercharger. Uh, so now it's basically, so it's basically more than tripled it in power since uh, the superchargers first came out. And somebody also yelled out something about the Saskatchewan supercharger. So uh, Elon did say he looked into that specifically and it's gonna be available soon uh, so that you'll be able to drive completely across Canada. So basically the moral of the story is, is that if you get uh, solar for your roof, plus you have the power wall uh, in your house or multiple power walls uh, as the battery, and the final ingredient is the, the electric car, of course the Tesla, you'll have a sustainable future. And that's been uh, Tesla's mission this entire time. So speaking of Tesla's mission, here are some of the, uh, the quotes that Elon uh, brought up during the, the event uh, from 2011 and, and from 2009. So electric cars are an extraordinarily bad idea. Uh, more like a glorified golf cart than a harbinger of tomorrow tech. Sorry, but electric cars are a waste of space. So I think I've seen uh, ones that are way worse than this. It, even today, people are still writing bad things about electric cars. Uh, but basically now, all of the major uh, car companies are moving into electric cars. Uh, General Motors going electric, Ford's going all electric, and Volkswagen uh, is also going all electric. But okay, now let's talk about like the actual main event. Uh, which is the Model Y. So here we have, uh, starting from the left, the Model S, the Model 3, the Model X, and the Model Y, which spells sexy. Now, for those who don't know, the Model S is a, a luxury sedan. Uh, the Model 3 is a, 
more affordable sedan, but some people actually think it's better uh, than the Model S, despite it being uh, about half the price. Uh, then we have uh, the Model X, which Elon was calling the uh, a rocket ship combined with a Fabergé egg, uh, because there's so many features in the Model X and they had so many problems uh, trying to make them all work, like the Falcon wing doors and all of these things. Uh, so if he thinks, and it, the Model X is definitely like a work of art, uh, but it is one, it is Tesla's most uh, expensive car besides uh, the Roadster. Uh, but the Model Y is basically a cheaper version of the Model X, and it's built, of course, on the same platform as the Model 3. Uh, the Roadster and the semi-truck uh, were both also present uh, at this event. Okay, but here's the real focus. This is what the Model Y looked like uh, at the event. I have some better photos coming up. Uh, and here's another picture from the side, uh, which shows a lot of the same features uh, that, the model, that the Model 3 has. So the Model Y is going to have the same type of glass panoramic roof that the Model 3 had. It's going to be able to support up to seven seats. The seven seats are going to be optional uh, and it has a huge amount of cargo space. So basically all the functionality uh, of an SUV, but he says it's going to handle like a sports car. And a lot of people feel that way about the Model 3 as well. Like you don't really expect it until you actually uh, drive one of these cars. So some other important facts about this car, uh, Elon says it's going to be uh, the safest car, the safest SUV in its class, uh, just like the Model 3. The Model 3 actually has the best safety rating uh, in the world for the, for the car of its class. As these cars have a low center of gravity, the battery is gigantic, it weighs like 2,000 pounds and is near the bottom of the car. So if the car tries to flip over, the battery basically holds it back uh, to the ground, which makes these electric cars a lot safer. Uh, than gas cars. So basically the Model Y is expected to be uh, the safest SUV in the world uh, besides the Model X. The performance version is 0 to 60 in 3.5 seconds. Uh, that's slightly slower than the Model 3 but I mean, of course this is a much bigger SUV and it has a 0 0.23 drag coefficient which is pretty amazing uh, for an SUV which is sort of has a bigger front to it uh, versus a sedan. Uh, the range is going to be 300 miles. Uh, that's that's pretty huge. Uh, we'll go over that in a second, but that's basically the long range version. Uh, the Model 3 started off at 310 miles and now it's at 325. Uh, so maybe uh, Elon was saying that the specs will probably uh, get even better, but these are sort of like what they're aiming for. Uh, but 300 miles of true usable range is what he's saying. And lastly, he does talk again about the full self-driving. So with software upgrades, uh, he says that it should be feature complete uh, by the end of the year. Of course, they're going to be doing more and more software updates in order to uh, make each of those features better. But basically, the car should be able to drive itself uh, on any road uh, if it's feature complete. Uh, but it will still learn over time in order to improve itself. So Tesla expects to sell more Model Ys then all of the S, X, and 3s combined. Uh, this is probably one of the most important slides from the presentation because it shows all of the different versions of the Model Y. So there's four different versions. Uh, currently we have six different versions of the Model 3. But let's step through these for a second. So the standard range, which is gonna be coming out in spring 2021, usually about six months after they're done meeting the demand for the uh, more expensive models uh, because it's smarter to sell the more expensive ones first in order to keep the company going. Uh, but it's going to have a range of 230 miles, uh, which is pretty big. The Model 3 equivalent has a range of 220 miles, so it actually has more range uh, than the Model 3 uh, in, for the standard edition. Uh, top speed of 120, uh, 0 to 16, 5.9 seconds, that's, uh, that's under 6 seconds, that's, that's super fast for an SUV that weighs this much. And the price is going to be 39000 so just a couple thousand dollars more uh, than the Model 3, but it actually has longer range than the Model 3, which I think is what uh, customers of an SUV, it's sort of like families, uh, are looking for. Uh, now the long range version is going to have 300 miles, so that's going to be a bit of an upgrade because it's $47,000. Higher top speed, better acceleration, and it's going to be coming out earlier. So I think that one uh, will be a top seller in my opinion because a lot of people are going to be going for the range uh, 300 miles uh, for this type of car. Now they, they have the dual motor, all wheel drive, and the performance, which is probably all wheel drive as well. Slightly lower range. The price of the dual motor is going to be 51,000. Performance is 60,000, but it accelerates at 3.5 seconds. And both of these models come out in the fall of 2020. So basically, in about a year and a half from now, we're going to start seeing Model Y on the road. So that assumes that they can hit their targets. Uh, but it is being built on the same platform. A lot of the parts, 75% of the parts, are going to be the same as the Model 3, so they should be able to ramp up much faster and have less of a production hell uh, than they had with the Model 3. 
So here's an awesome photo of the car uh, from the company website. Uh, the orders are open and you can see that they're focusing on the, the amount of cargo space, the amount of range, and the fact that this is all wheel drive. They don't really uh, show the performance as being one of the main features of this car like they do with the other uh, sedans, which I believe are addressing like a slightly different market segment uh, than the SUV. And overall, SUVs do sell more, especially in the, in the United States. Uh, SUVs sell way more uh, than cars. We talked about that in one of our previous videos. Uh, most of the cars sold in the United States are now trucks and, and SUVs, like light trucks, uh, versus sedans. So I think uh, Elon's right when he says that the Model Y has uh, can sell more than S, X, and 3 combined. And this will be huge for the company because there's not a lot of other uh, car makers that are going to be making uh, this type of car. Currently, most of the competitors for SUVs uh, that are electric are higher end cars. Uh, they're barely able to compete with the Model X right now. Uh, the Model X, of course, is is like Elon was saying, the Fabergé egg meets rocket ship, uh, and it's going to be hard for them to compete with that. Uh, but the Model Y is sort of going to take the price down of an SUV to a range that pretty much anybody can afford at $39,000. Uh, and Tesla expects to sell a ton of these, probably around a million of these uh, per year. And also here's a picture of what the interior of the car looks like. Uh, so you can see that it looks a lot like the Model 3. It has uh, the single screen and the very minimalistic look. So this is probably the performance model. So it has the, the premium seats and everything like that. And I think a lot of people have been waiting for an SUV version of an electric car uh, that's finally going to be here in the fall of next year. So that's going to wrap up the video. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to our channel. We would really appreciate your support. Uh, we'll probably make a couple more videos analyzing uh, this car and the market itself and how the stock is going to react uh, to this news. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and smash that like button.